gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another unboxing. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. It's, I was unaware we were doing weird. it. Why, why are our videos always weird? Like, Because we're always used to, like, as the beer swirls or something. Um, we, we've got a stick down. There's no stick right now. Anyways, uh, so what, what are we unboxing it. here? Mike, we received a package from uh-huh. Milford, Connecticut, in the uh-huh. way of Athletic Brewing. And for those that don't know, these sports drinks are we reviewing sports drinks now? Is this a subsection? We might be. We might be. Uh, for those that don't know, Athletic is uh, specialized in non-alcoholic uh, beers. So, so yeah, a sports so we, drink. Uh, right. we kind of got in contact with Athletic, and they were uh, keen to send us out a box of uh, non-alcoholic beer, aka oh, near beer, that. to near uh, beer. see what we thought. So. Let's uh, pop her open. Oh, she's my address is there. Uh, <laughs> Nobody wants to know where you live. Inside her box. So. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that box. That's some good packaging. I dig oh, that. Yeah. See, it's like a shoe box. It could be Gatorade. It could be shoes. I don't know what's going on in there. Um, so, yeah, this box is pretty dope. All right, let's uh, open is. it up. And uh says... Uh, says athletic brewing fit for Ooh. all times i get it i get it because any time is a good time to drink not enough i got right okay so all right so that's cool you open it it says uh award-winning well let me let me do this real quick mike just for the people. bring up the big screen there we go oh geez i got so red there what the hell's going on, <laughs> on the screen so um, the opposite of the pale vampire you usually are. <laughs> you, look, you look like the red chicken signs outside your window. <laughs> Award-winning <laughs> non-alcoholic brews. Uh, all right, I'll read it. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> oh, yeah, the oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Um, an athletic brewing well, company were dedicated to crafting delicious non-alcoholic beer. Uh, think- you can enjoy anytime and anywhere with no hangovers. Unlike other NA brews, ours are crafted with a proprietary process that allows us to maintain full flow, full flavor. Skeptical? Question mark. Big so, time. So we're some of our biggest fans before the first sip. So yeah, it's got a cool little uh, QR code. You scan it and stuff. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so we got like a little, uh, uh, oh, enjoy $10 off our first order. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, so if I, so I don't want to scan the QR code, there you go. There you go. Scan it. Uh, fit for all times. So, yeah, we got like a cool little sampler pack, Mike. Dan, is there even any beer in there? Oh, okay. You were just pulling out. Yeah. All right. Let's That's see what's going cool. on. Uh, so have you ever had any athletic? No, I've heard of them. They seem to be sprouting up quite yeah. a bit lately but uh we, we've dabbled in the near beer business we have, we have. i'm yeah, actually excited to, to dig in we tried the sam adams and uh mm-hmm. okay all right so this is their uh run wild ipa all right um I like the can we can dive more into this when we get into it but it's cool they got uh like the calorie count and carbohydrates and protein and they're winning me over already with all this info. Yeah, I mean that that's pretty dope. They got a, they got any dates on those cans? Can they be bothered to put lock codes or anything on there? Mike, it is professional. Oh my yeah. gosh. I'm already in. They're getting fresh. points already. Um, but what's really cool about these, I think, is like like that's the whole gist, right? Like you're you're drinking some NA stuff and maybe you're on a diet or whatever and you're kind of wanna you want to know what you're ingesting. I think it's really cool they in, include all that stuff on there. I do too. I like it. That yeah. kind of information is helpful. I know, like it's a new thing. Like January, the sober January, everyone's into it now. It's like this thing. All right, let's get on another beer. So this is their upside dawn. Now upside down. Dawn. There are some clever uh, folks over there. This seems like it's a it's a golden ale. I Again, say. good looking label. Oh, yeah, I really love it. So, yeah, it uh, contains less than 0.5 ABV on every every Right, can. right. But, yeah, gamma with the calories and stuff. So, yeah, right on. golden ale. That seems pretty cool. 
All right, here we go. Here's the here's the one that's probably gonna stout, stout, right? Yeah. Hazy IPA, free. I was wrong. Okay. That's a good way. Yeah. We're running the gambit of time of days here. Dude, I'll tell you what, I really want to man, these are all hyper fresh. They really are. 316, 2024. So we're like <laughs> all right. Less than 10 days out. We'll see what's going on. So we'll have to look and see what if they what hops or whatever they use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Here's like a light lager. Hey, another cool label. All right. That's really cool. The next one's got to be a barley wine, right? Uh, barely aged all day. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, no. So this is. <laughs> uh, okay. So it says non alcoholic light copper, but it says cerveza. So maybe this is like their Ooh. Mexican lager or a Mexican nice. copper ale or something. So that seems pretty interesting. It's, I'm interested to try all these. Okay. So yeah, th these all have like, th these all have special descriptions. I sure hope so. No. So I think I want a story on each one. Four no, there's a story, but these are all the same story on all of these, except for this one so far, I think it is. So this one is uh, like an easy paddle into a perfect swell. Cerveza Athletica is one smooth ride. Crafted with premium v Vienna and Munich malts, it has a distinct but delicate bread crust flavor with light and spicy floral undertones. Dry, crisp, clean, and thirst questioning. Quenching, not questioning. Uh, it's an easy to drink summertime essential. Well, we don't have to try that one then. They just told us what it's like. So I'd say if yeah, that right. interests you, go out and get it. Okay, Mike. So the last one's definitely a barrel aged stuff. Thank God, finally. Nope. Not at all. Uh, actually, this is pretty cool. Wits Peak, a Belgian style white. Ooh. All right. I can't say as I've ever had a non alcoholic Belgian wit. Exploding with cues of citrus, coriander, and wheat. This Belgian-style white brew is refreshingly bright, soft, and smooth. Whether you're headed up, down, nowhere at all, a cold Wits Peak is fit for the journey. And if you want to add an orange slice, that's more than fine with us. You need to remember to do that. <laughs> There's yeah. the stupid selfie thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, uh, I really am excited about all these different styles in there. This should be fun. What a world we live in. We've said this when we re reviewed NA beers, but I remember like growing up, there was, was like two options for NA beers. <laughs> what was it? O'Doul's and... It was like O'Doul's and uh, <laughs> my dad used to drink, uh, it was a Coors Cutter, I think it was called. Okay. <laughs> so it was like the Coors NA. But dude, we got... We, so we've got traditional IPA, hazy IPA, uh, a golden ale, a light lager, a Mexican lager, I, I'm, I'm guessing, a Belgian. What? Crazy days, Dan. Crazy days. Uh, I'll tell you what, folks. If you guys love the NA beers, let us know. We'll review these and upload them next January. For sober change. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we'll get into these. I think this would be really cool. I, I, I do too. I'm really excited to dive into them. Uh, also, look into uh, Kyle over at No Hype Beer Reviews. I believe he got a package from Athletic as well. So, uh, yes, he yeah, did. Check him out. Uh, yeah, until then, uh, link down below, link tree so you can branch out. Everything we have going on is down there for you to click on. So, until then, folks, cheers. And, uh, Here's to NA goodness.